Gay man walking. Good morning. Just morning, actually. It's been <laughs> a weird. <laughs> oh my god. I've still got this damn cold, and it's not getting any better because, you know, it's freezing outside. Oh, hello, Rich Paul. How I've missed you. Yeah, okay, so five days left to go, and three nights of those four nights uh, will be spent camping tonight, the next night, and the next night. It is so cold at night. I've been wearing every layer, including, for the first time ever, my waterproof trousers that I've never had to wear my waterproof trousers, or had them in the North Island. I guess that day in 42 Traverse where I was dying and couldn't open my fingers, I would have loved them, but that was the only time. So maybe they're necessary to carry, but also they keep you warm at night because they like keep all the sweat in. So yeah, today I'm gonna walk like 35, 38 kilometers or something, and it's literally all road and farm and then some like uh, random wooded trail that I think I have to go up like 200 or 250 meters. It's gonna be so much fun right at the end of my day. But by, I'm realizing now, <laughs> after 103 days, I'm realizing that there, there's a time in the afternoon when you just click into this, oh my god, I can just keep going mode, and it's insane. That feeling is awesome. But also, kind of affects the next day of hiking uh, a little negatively, at least for me. It just makes me a little bit more zombie-ish, sluggish, um, locked knees. Things you don't want to be when you're hiking. Oh, look at you, Bush. What's up, Christmas? So I still don't know the name of the mountain range I just, I came out of. And I actually do care. What is your name? No, all I hear is Ariana Grande. So guys, I just found the uh, correct trail. I've been off trail for a little bit. Um, in the distance right in front of me, I see a orange marker, and there is a nice little trail of something leading up to it, which is right here. Just a lovely line of uh, lamb's wool with carcass along the way, just for like extra protein. And one just there. <laughs> I'm quite baffled, but at this point I'm just like, whatever, let's go follow the trail of dead animals. Oh my god, it's so cute and sad, but they're all going to this end and calling after their brothers at the far end. Brothers and sisters and lovers. Maybe all three, actually. Ugh. A signpost just said, use bridge at own risk, <laughs> which does not make me feel so great. But I think it's because if it is strewn with cows, that's kind of risky to be walking on it. I've just gone uphill a lot. I feel like I'm in Ron Weasley's house, and that's his car. That is what I'm looking at right now. You can just, just make up the ocean. In the distance, uh, in other words, in what I'm walking into, even though it's kind of far away, but fucking walking, I have to go there. Uh, it's rain falling, which is, I'm actually happy I can see it and I'm not stuck in a forest, so I'm getting ready. I am, for the first time ever, preemptively getting ready for rain, rather than it raining and me being like, Whoa! There it is. I don't know, I wish there was a way for you to, like, feel how cold it is, except I realized that would also probably include, like, smell, and if you don't want that. Ah, uh, the truth about hiking nowadays is there are so many times when you have to stop and actually just, like, fix your electronic shit. My iPhone died, so I'm just plugging it in. Look at you, Southlands. You go, Southlands. Two for you, Southlands. Back on derpy farmlands. 
I mean, the farmland's not derpy, I'm the derp. Derp in its way across farm. Uh, guys, I'm walking what very close to what looks like could be edible vegetation, except I don't know what it is. Just large leaves that are so close for me to steal. But I think I'll be a good Samaritan, but also it's mainly because I don't know what it is. I've turned onto the trail that goes into private land where you know that to camp but there's a little bit of it that's conservation area in the Woodlaw track and that's where I'm going. But these trees though. This looks like a painting. I'm at the top. I'm at the precipice of being inside of a cloud. I am not in the cloud yet. Can't believe I have four more days after this. Four. I will be at, at zero meters above sea level soon. That's, I'll be at the ocean. <laughs> the ocean? I haven't seen that in days. So it's like day 64 and now it's 104. Whoa. Holy shit, 40 days. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I can do another Ike like this. I don't, I, Jesus, I was so ambitious. I am amazed. That, I'm amazed that I am still so committed. Even though it wavers a little, or it wavered for me the past two weeks. But just the fact that I'm still like here and still planning is cool for me. Feels nice. I am proud of myself. Also, I am so ready for day five. Day five is I'm not walking anymore. <laughs> Holy crap, five days. Oh my gosh, wow. Five days is a long, it's still a lot of days. Stuff's gonna happen, I'm, I'm probably gonna fall. I promise you at least one more video of me slipping. And like magic, I'm on a dirt road in the middle of a forest now. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to the sheep, but I think they understand that I'm sad to be here. I am in a forest again. Also, I'm so delirious. I stopped and I ate some food. I feel good. I just feel like ooh, understandably tired. I, it's been eight hours of walking with hardly any stopping. 35 kilometers today, 39 tomorrow, but a hot had to stay in the hut. Alrighty, I'm in a pine forest. As well as toilet paper, which makes me feel disgusting for staying here, but also makes me realize this is a camping spot. I thought these were cow hooves markings, but they're actually people markings from putting poles in the ground. So I'm gonna sleep here. Anyway, so that's the end of day 104. 104. Oh, I don't remember if it's three or four. It's one of those, and it's over. So, good night. Good morning. Okay, so the reason I look like this today, I presume I look awful. Well, even more awful, and beard in disarray, and eyes puffy than normal, is because, well, first of all, I did sleep. A lot. I slept. <laughs> Pretty much it gets dark at 7. I was exhausted from 37 kilometers of walking, which I actually did enjoy, and then passing out in delirium after eating so many, so much, literally my meal was pasta with mashed potato, salt, tomato paste, ranch dressing, carrots, because <laughs> you gotta stay healthy. And I had that and passed out. It was really nice actually, um, sleeping for that long because I was periodically woken up by trucks driving on this road and opening the door 
Um, and I... <coughs> Ew. In closing them, and there were children, there was a dog, and at one time there were just two gents who showed, two guys who showed up, and one of them, I heard mention something about shitting, and then I was thinking, God, they're standing right beside that massacre of toilet paper that was by the entrance to the campsite, which is just a pine forest. This one. Well, I mean, that's not pine, so I lied. But anyway, that, the whole thing was just awkward and made me afraid, and then I was like, oh, I have to do this one more time, this whole illegal camping thing on a beach. I mean, it's not illegal. I'm not doing anything. So anyway, that happened last night, and now this morning, I just feel, I feel good. Yeah, so I woke up early. Anyway, somehow, even waking up at 6.50, I've managed to have at least 10 hours of sleep. Ha! It looks like it might actually be sunny today. After these awkward, weird, long clouds disappear. I don't know anything about clouds. Ah, uh, I love it when life just kind of has something so simple that shows up and could have changed everything. We're literally right there on that post. Uh, somewhere behind me. There was a sign that said trampers welcome at our new hut at the end of this section uh, Before you go to the next section, which is literally not far away at all. I think I don't know <laughs> um, But anyway, uh, that would have been awesome ten dollars Which I don't have right now to spend on a hut I'd rather eat my money at this point But anyway, if I just needed to I could not have camped at that scary place where I thought farmers were gonna murder me Also, that's sun though This little shout out to England, or the whole of the UK. Oh, it's so cobwebby. Oh, well, if it's not cobwebs, it's homeless people pee pissing inside of it. That's the normal standard. I think that is Longwood Forest, and that is the forest I'm going to go into and then out of today. Well, not out of today. I'm gonna get to a hut, but I think I have like 30 kilometers left to walk, so whoa. I'm looking at a sign that says accommodation with this little, the little hut I was talking about. They have water, but so does a stream that's not too far from here. Oh, maybe I could, oh, the gate's open. I could go take a look. Okay, let's go take a look, everybody. Is anyone home? Maybe. Cute. This water is safe to drink. <gasps> Yay, water! It's literally a little bunk, and there's an honesty box with deep heat and eggs. Des oeufs? Oui. Des oeufs. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, there's food. Oh my god, I'm still gonna buy something. Yay! Oh, this is such a great little find. Um, cool. Anyway. Oh, what a cute little setup. Thank you, Random Farm. I served some people at a restaurant uh, who live on this road as well, and they said that they wanted to host me when I came by, which is months ago, and now that I'm here, they're not here because it's the weekend and they've gone. So, oh, there's some sheep over there. They're all looking at me. Anyway, oh, not sheep, deer. Ugh, they're all the same. But no, they're not. Anyway, so I can't stay with them, so I'm gonna stay here. Oh my God, do they have coffee? Please have coffee. No, no coffee. Oh well, let's see what I can take. Yay! Probably nothing actually. Oh well, I'm gonna look at it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's the sound of a thousand, sh uh, what are they called? Deer <laughs> making noise? Bleating, I guess? The hills are alive with the sound of deers angry at me. It ain't no music, let me tell you that. Coincidentally, I'm also listening to the Sunny Music soundtrack right now. Time for lunch. Thank the Lord. Guys, I'm heading into the last forest stretch and uphill battle and probably sandfly ridden terrain and bur and fantail bird covered land and mud and roots and stones. I don't know how to feel. I feel good. I feel full. I just ate. Anyway, time to crack on. Is that a saying? Anyway, I'm going to keep going now. It's been the easiest r uphill walking ever. I mean, I am going downhill. That's not why it's easy. Uh, but yeah, just literally four-wheel drive in a forest. And I've had a lot of time to think, just listening to Dido and pondering yield life. Not much is coming to mind other than the fact that I'm really really looking forward to not eating instant mash or pasta or peanuts or peanut butter 
for a very long time after this. And if someone tries to hand me any of those things, I will probably eat them. I think I made a mistake because I just looked at my app on my phone to see how far I had left. And I'm halfway done my day. It's 12.22, which means I've done 20 kilometers. I have another 20 to go, but it's all pretty much uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill. <sighs> oh well, it's not a problem. It's just more like I thought I was near the top of this bloody thing, but I'm only halfway up it because it's such a slow up. And uh, yeah, I don't mind. But 20 kilometers, and I know my speed, I can go minimum, flat maximum four kilometers, which means I'll be done at 5.30. But the thing is, I think it's dark at 6.30. So really I could go like a little bit slower than four, which is what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's be real. I just got a major boost of energy. I don't know where it came from, but I only have 20 kilometers to left, left to walk today. Then I get to sleep in a nice little hut, maybe with people, eat some food. I've still got legs and they're working perfectly. I've got nothing to complain about. Life is really good and I am full of energy and therefore full of life. <sighs> I just feel really good, I don't know why. I can't blame coffee because I've only had one and that was way early in the morning. Okay, I think I'm actually entering the proper forest path, yo. Martin's hut, which is where I'm going to. Thank you, Martin, for existing and making this possible. 19.7 kilometers, nine hours. Whoa, that means like two kilometers an hour in their mind. Oh, but here, let's look over here. Oh, there's nothing on that side. Anyway, I'm gonna keep walking so I don't get there at midnight, which if I do the math is nine hours from now? No, that would be 9.30 which is hikers midnight, because that's when we're all in bed to sleep. This forest is amazing. I'm feeling really, really great. And really sentimental, even though I have another like 40 kilometers of just forest. But still, I just feel so, ow, I just stabbed myself in the foot with my pole. So that's how I feel. <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to jinx it, so. I'm just gonna keep going. Well, this is a thing again. Jeez, really, where am I? Well, that was fun to walk through. It's telling me it's gonna take an hour for the next section. a beautiful work of nature. I literally have to walk on that beach. Oh my god, this is so crazy and so North Island right now. All right, gotta keep going. This is the path I get to walk down. Holy shit, the ocean. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, this is so awesome! I can't believe I've done this. I mean, I can. I'm so proud of myself. Actually, I just knew, like, I'm not proud of myself for doing this. I'm proud of myself because I knew I could. And I'm out here doing it. For no one else but myself. I mean, I'm not living selfishly, I think. I just, the more you do for yourself, the more it enables you to give back. If you're not making yourself happy and showing yourself that you can do the things you put yourself forward to, then how are you supposed to expect anyone else to or, or push them to or believe in them if you can't believe in yourself? It's so nice to, I don't know, it just feels nice. It's nice to have already acquired that and brought that on along the walk because I just would hate to be like so doubt filled. I mean, I'm full of worry, that's who I am, but like that doubt isn't there. I know how to work out. I don't know what I'm walking on, I just know. And not like an every one is fine and just smush it down. More like an embrace the shit, deal with it, because then all of a sudden if you clear out all the crap and you're still in a place you love, it doesn't matter what they throw at you. You can fucking do it. To be somewhere you love. For instance, a road in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be walking on, but I am. And this is where I want to be right now. Now go find your life, girl. Get your life. Every time I say that, I remember my, remind myself of my friend Trisha. Love you, Trisha. 
I have to go down there. I have to sleep there tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye, road. All right, hello, path. All right, already in an awkward position. And here we go. I can't even get out of it. Okay, there we go. Ah, that little speck of antenna is where I was um, earlier the, today, I don't know, a couple hours ago. Girl, I do not know what this day had in store for me at all, uh, other than up and downs. I'm past 30 kilometers and I'm my body has hit that machine level where I could just keep going. Ah, ouch, stop. And now I'm here. Because this is a place that I go uh, today. I, go, I don't know, I, I thought it was a forest. Very happy it's not right now. All right, I presume I am heading back into the forest. Because Yep, surrounded by it. Definitely going back in. Goodbye, sun. So much ocean. I just met a really nice, uh, well, two hikers. I don't know if they're a couple, but they just said the hut's gonna have at least three people inside of it by now, and it's a four-person room. So I'm gonna get there, possibly claim a bed, if not, take the floor. I do not know. So uh, yeah, I'm happy. But there is bluff in the distance. This is crazy. I sound like a dead person because internally I am. Only two kilometers to go. I'm feeling slight delusion. I just know that in an hour I'll be eating. Oh, that's such a good feeling and sentence in looking at Bluff. And I'm like, you're right there, but you're three days away. There you are. Said path, Bluff. I literally am facing it. I wish the trail just kind of went bloop, but it doesn't. 